Hello world, I'm Cap. welcome back to Cultist Simulator Order of the Bloody Cup. We're playing as a Grail Cult, going for a Sensation Victory. At this moment we are doing the sign key here, so yeah, we are using the knowledge of the stag door with our temptation to get the third mark happening here. We are developing an understanding of the Lang Dead Few sign language. We are getting some composure. We are promoting a believer by invoking Grail, which is very nice. We are promoting Enid here. Enid speaks softly, and sometimes her gaze doesn't focus on anything visible. She sees things that others don't. And we are changing our headquarters just to get rid of some notoriety, since we apparently have a the oh he's already considering evidence Ooh, we're gonna have some evidence well luckily we have isabeth here as a disciple so we can get rid of that evidence and there are some bleak thoughts going in our head but we don't have any dread so that is fine okay let's just get going then right and enid is now a disciple enid sees what others do not it is become difficult for her but it is very useful okay so, uh, let's upgrade Rose next. Because we're gonna be needing the Edge Followers quite a lot. Actually, Rose is a sly miss, but loyal. Oh! Exotic Cravings, once more. But hey! We don't have the temptation here for it to take, so what's it gonna do now? Did you make evidence? Yeah, you made evidence. Uh, well, so Isabet, you're gonna have to get rid of this, so we're gonna have to finish our upgrading people here for a while. We'll stop doing that. Reputation. We've taken care of to locate our headquarters somewhere out of the way. No address is really ever permanent. Like our bodies, we leave them all in the end, but for now, this is home. We painted the walls within the rich color of the violet chamber. We've cleaned the cobwebs and placed unobtrusive shutters behind all the windows. And we replaced all the locks. So we had Aspect Pit here and we also had the Aspect Secret which is very nice because occasionally it will give us this thing that will just get rid of bad uh, reputation. But it's only gonna be a, this is going to be only around for three minutes. I don't think we can get to Congregation of the Saint Felix or Shuren in three minutes. But we're still gonna try. And if I remember correctly, there's only monks here. So we're just gonna send Elridge there and then we're gonna send Rose after he's upgraded. Send some funds as well. A non-conformist enclave of a heterodox sect of a Calvinist offshoot, tucked away in an odd corner of the city. They belt out hymns with unsuitable gusto in a throat-scraping language that is very much not quite Latin. Membership of a congregation is strictly controlled. It may even be inherited. The safest approach is to burgle the minister's residence while he's conducting a service, but the sworn mothers of the congregation guard the place in shifts, and they are not easily distracted. Yeah, we'll see about that. Well, we don't they need to be easily distracted. We're gonna murder them! Okay, you give us restlessness, even though nothing went uh, there. Okay, that is fine. Grimp that bad thing away, so let's head to the stack door. Or we can head to the stack door right now. It's, it's, it's over there. Well, now we speak Fusine. In places it overlaps with languages, I know. In other places, well, I can see why they call it Tongue of Witches. But I can understand it well enough now. Right, uh... Let's read the Wainscat. Histories next. Subtitled Stories from Behind the Walls. A miscellany of non-traditional histories compiled by William Gore, including battles and generally acknowledged and countries which appear on no map, told in a playful, apparently fictional manner. Gore does not mention the manses directly, but constant coy metaphorical references to ascending the staircase of years to the doors of sleep and to the blue light of dawn suggest he had commerce with the unseen world. And I'm thinking we're only getting a level 4 his secret history from that sort of put furtive truth. We don't really need those anymore. Let's hope that it actually gives us a Forgotten Chronicle so uh, life would be a lot easier. Okay. The right is complete. The marks of the grail are upon me. The first mark is what I have said, and the second is what I have done. If I inspect my body, I'll find the third. I thrill with new appetites. So, we're going for Ascension Sensation. The red grail has warned me. Its thirsts have begun to dry my mouth and itch my hands. I know this to be the third mark. Now, so, 
In order to win, or to ascend, we are going to need... Let's put ascensions here. Oh, must have at least one of those aspects in desire. Wait, doesn't it have it? Yeah, aspect desire. It should go there. Uh, this, oh, I, yeah, it needs the sixth mark, right. Okay, so before that we can't really see, even see what it is. But, it's, it takes 36 aspect to get here. Okay, to win. Now, from behind the peacock's door, where we're eventually trying to go, we can find a grail uh, influence that has 15. So we put that here, we have 15 here. Then, uh, we can get, you know, well, 15. So we still need 21. 21, okay. If we have our Grail assistant, we find the Grail person, we upgrade them all the way to the highest level, they will be 10. Okay, but if we make them our lover, they will be 11. If we give them a really good Grail gift, we can get them up to 14 actually. But it doesn't matter if we get them 14 or 13 because, you know, 15 and uh, plus 13 is 28. Right? And 15 plus 14 is 29. So we're still going to need level 8 lore. So if we get to level 8 Grail lore, or I think better is to go to level 10. If we get to level 10 Grail lore, we make a Grail follower exalted and we make that follower our lover. They will be at the Grail 11. So then 15 plus 11 plus 10. According to my calculations, that's 36. So that's all we need to win. win. And, well, of course, we're going to have need to have the 6th mark here. But to get the 6th mark, we're also going to need Grail followers. Because getting Grail followers makes it very easy for us to get prisoners. And then we can just uh, eat those prisoners. Because that's what we need to do, is to eat people. But uh, that's just going to have to wait until we actually get... You know, some Grail followers, or we actually get enough lore to uh, upgrade all the way to level 10. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We can already get to level... Uh, what is this? 8 with these two, because we can use the Waking Chant to make the uh, Delightful Sacrament even higher. And... With the winter, we can... Okay, let, what do we need to... Okay, we need winter to make heart greater. So what we could do as well... What do we need to make winter greater? Edge. We don't have any edge lore. Hmm. Unfortunate. Because I'm thinking there we probably could... If we had edge lore, you probably could just... With this lore we already have here, we probably could get all the way to level 8. Or level 10. Okay, but that's actually a thing. Yeah, we're gonna have to combine these together. What do you require? Practical experimentation and glimmering. And your practical experimentation and glimmering. Okay. So, we're gonna try to sac well, sacrifice one for health. Get a glimmering. Okay, yeah. Level 8. Easy. Okay. Rose is now a disciple. Rose has sharpened her cunning to a concentrated point. Okay, Rose, you go over here, help Elridge beat those monks. Uh, Elizabeth, you get rid of this evidence for us, please. It was common in the time to speak of the division of the sun, by which contemporaries understood the eruption of barbarian forces and of their uncouth gods. Okay, so I got further truth from that, didn't really need that. And, of course, all of our passion is in here. Well, let's hope that we get some glimmering. But we're gonna have to wait until we actually get to that point and see if we get the glimmering before we start combining these things. Okay, some mystique went there, some mystique went there. Uh, more mystique. Did we get a glimmering? No, but we got a fascination. Hmm. Well, we can dream that fascination away quite soon. Oh, all of our passions are, of course, exhausted. Uh, well... Let's instead just read the trees on under places at this point while we wait for our passions to get unexhausted. 
Here in the 17th century mystic and antiquarian Claude Soul describes the bounds or other places on the borders of dream. He warns that they shift over time. The walls of the manses, her soul begins, are the size of starlight. Manifest directions are equally unhelpful, but common relationships do emerge. And through the stack door we go. Okay, we got a subtle rupture there. Uh, I think we're gonna find a forbidden epic from here. Yes, a forbidden epic from here. Nice. And then we'll dream this fascination away with this fleeting reminiscence. And Isabel got rid of the evidence. Good job, Isabel. Now, yeah, we're gonna want to find the Grail people pretty soon. So let's just start finding them right now. Okay, dreaming done. Read this book. Got an iguine right. A picaresque account of the journey through nightmare, interspersed with the with what might be partial rites. On the 18th ascent is the bud. On the 36th ascent, the blossom. Every door in the mansions requires its sacrifice before it will open. The Iguine rites prescribe the manner of the sacrifice. Right, so. Now we do not have any glimmering yet, so we need to use some passion to get some glimmering, and then we'll dream about the stack door. Get some stuff from there. Secret Devotions. The minister's bedchamber is grand in proportion, but sparsely furnished. Beneath the window, a Feathered ornamental axe rests beside an animal chalice drum in a little altar of ye wood. Oh, sickness. Well, we have vitality. So the fleeting reminiscence is really nice because now we can go to the Painted River without any danger. Because if we get a fascination from there, it doesn't matter since we have the fleeting reminiscence that will protect us from it. Oh, the benefits of privacy are gone. Perhaps it will be harder for the Suppression Bureau to follow leads to our door. It also may be harder to sustain a reputation. Yeah, well, I don't care about a reputation at this moment at all. Actually, I might care about our reputation a lot, tiny bit, since uh, we have notoriety here now, and there is also this thing going on. Beneath the altar, in a box secured with a complicated triple knot, we find a trove of books, and more besides. A knife ranked with old blood, a twist of cloth, a leathery remnant of something the minister must have surrendered at his ordination. Alright, so I know that there's also the unattended church. We find Kione at Abydos, we find De Bellis Murorum, we find Kuna and Geth, we find the Rose of Woznai, and we find the Rose of Nuriel. Now I'm really wondering why did I even come here? Yeah, there's actually no point in coming here because all this stuff these books give is stuff that would have helped us gotten to the white door. We are already at the white door. Well, we can sell Kuna and Geth. Let's actually do that first here. And we might want to read the Debellis Murorum because, like I just talked, if we have Edge we can probably get all the way to Grail 8. Well, Grail 10 with just the law we have here. Uh, of these books, I am not certain if we want to read them or not. And the answer is no, we don't really want to read this. I mean... We might read the, these two, just to get some more lore that we can upgrade to get to the level 10 lore that we're gonna need at some point. But uh, we might... We'll do that if we have, like, nothing better to do. Okay! To the white door. Let's take the forgotten quarry. At least some. Uh, what's this? Old unhappy far off things. Ah, oh, that's restlessness. And there's some glimmering for us. So let's combine the waking chant and the delightful sacrament. Subvert the lore unceasing. What doesn't cease will succumb at last to temptation. This will create grail lore instead of heart. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted. And then we'll head back to the stack door. Oh, there goes the notoriety. I should have just grabbed it. Mm. Well, can't be helped anymore, at least. He got one funds for that, so let's start doing these furtive truths. Find us some places we need to go to. And who did we find from the streets? A hanger on. Why so many hanger ons? Like, seriously. 
Oh, there's the affliction, so we need to remember to dream that away. And there's some restlessness, which we need to paint away. Hey, through a stack door once more, we'll head to the Painted River, get an erudition lesson learned. Which we don't really need for anything. I mean, we could basically... Like, what level are we at here? At two, so we're gonna need three. So if we'd read, read two of these right now, we could get to uh, next level over there, but we really don't need to do that, and you require the glimmering there now. Okay, we are job, let's paint. Let's use the mystique this time, paint that restlessness away. Oh crap, I just went to the stack door when I should have dreamt that affliction away. Well, sometimes that happens. Okay, Kegel and Scratch, hey, this is a place we need to go to, uh, but let's just... Actually, is there anything else we need to go to over here? I think at the Guerre Inn we can find a book that gives us Lantern 8. And we're gonna require Lantern 8 to get to the spider's door. Except that... Is it... I think it might be Grail 8 that also lets us go there. Yeah, it is. So we really don't need to go there at all. We need to go get to Keglin Scratch. Over here, we need to go, because we can find the cracked wildering mirror from there, and we're gonna need that wildering mirror to get to the spot, uh, peacock's door at some point. So what are we gonna require at Keglin Scratch? Edge and Lantern. Okay, so we can't go there yet, so we might as well just... Uh... Well, let's start doing this Forgotten Chronicles here now, because we don't need to find any more Furtive Truths. So there's really no point in doing the Furtive Truths anymore. Oh. Exotic Cravings again. Okay, well, at least now we'll see what it does now that we have the Ascension Sensation here. Yeah, it is looking for a corpse or a lunatic or a prisoner. Right? We knew that. Oh, you managed to make evidence, did you? Yeah. Well, it's a bit more work for you. Okay, painting done. Let's just keep working with our health then. Okay, the desert inside. Pain. Oh, you're gonna grab some passion over there. Okay, subtle rupture over there. There might be a forbidden epic here. Yes, there was. Let's take that. Let's dream this affliction away. And now you want health. Okay, let's see. I think risk your health means it might be injured. Which doesn't really matter, because we have Vitality we can then use to fix it. Okay, what do we find? Chateau Raveline. Well, that is one of the places we wanted to go to, actually. And uh, then the other place we might find from a uh, Forgotten Chronicle is uh, the... What is it called? Uh, Fermia Abbey. Yeah, Fermia Abbey is the other place we want to find from there. Who? Sylvia. Moth person. Mm. Moth person, always nice. But we'll send this moth person and get rid of this evidence this time. Yeah, it just exhausts our passion and nothing else happens here. Oh, that's fine. We don't really care even if we get some exhausted passion happening. Okay, health back together. Let's head back to the stack door. An unusual vessel. I find an unexplained reference to Hebe in my research, and my attention is diverted. What is Hebe? A woman? A place? A name of an hour? Well, it's a boat where we don't need to go at all. Oh! Wrong kind of attention. Again? Ah, oh, crap! Ah, oh, crap! Oh, man! I know exactly what's gonna happen right now, because it's it would be so normal for my luck. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, Isabeth! Ah! Oh. You managed to actually get rid of those evidence. I was worried that Isabeth's gonna fail this time, and then, you know, this guy's gonna grab uh, the notoriety that was created from that, and then the evidence is gonna be uh, bigger. Huh. Should we take Sylvia in the cult? We don't really need to, just yet. It would be nice to have another disi uh, moth disciple just to... But you know what? Yeah, let's actually do that. Just in case. I'm always so worried about uh, getting... Oh. 
Yeah, always so worried about getting evidence, because evidence is the thing that kills. We've sustained the gloves to get her in the cult. There's extra vitality, and there is a thyatic invocation. Rocker shrieks attend the passage of the names of the Grail. We reproduce them as best we can for the pulsing power they lend. Okay, so now, if we would want to get this to be higher level, we would need to have Heart 8 or Grail 8. Okay, I'm gonna check what level stuff these roses actually give. Okay, so we can get a Heart 4 and a Grail 4 from uh, these books. Now, with Heart 4, we could combine this, we'll make a Grail a Heart 6. Grail 4, we can make this into Grail 6, then we can combine the 6s, get another 8, and then we can combine the 8 to a 10. Okay, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna read the Rose of New Real first here. Uh, that's in Greek, we're gonna have to translate it. And to the stack door once more, we will take the Forgotten Quad uh, again. And then we'll head back to the stack door. Uh, Sylvia is in the cult now. We will upgrade her. We only need the Thyatic Invocation for this anymore. Right. Also, Sylvia has a detailed knowledge of roof ridges of the river at low tide, of Irish whiskey, and of conjuring tricks. Okay, find the Heap Stanton. Heap is a ship. In fact, many ships have borne that name over the centuries. All of them have provided transport and accommodation to those who know something of the invisible world, and none of them show up in shipping records. But I've learned that the steamer Heap Stanton is docking soon in a grimy and unregarded port in a northern island. I could send someone to purloin unwatched occult luggage, but we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're still gonna try to find the uh, Fermia Abbey from here. Okay, translate the Rose of Nuriel, so let's read it. A volume of collected teachings of the Sisterhood of the Knot, that arcane contemplative order that existed in all histories, but in some was very powerful indeed. This was recorded by Nuriel and dedicated to Saint Trifon. Saint Trifon, Nuriel explains, performed secret miracles in the name of she who bleeds and bears and she who opens. Thus Saint Trifon opened the way to the House of the Sun, thus Saint Trifon underwent the great birth and ascension to immortality. Okay, this it's also something we're gonna have to read soon. Okay, to the stack door once more. We'll go to the Painted River, get an erudition lesson learned. And she's also pretty useful for us all the times. Sylvia's favorite tactic is to smile and close her eye. It is remarkable how often her interlocutor will blur blurt out exactly what they are thinking. Okay, so two moth people, that's good. Uh, let's upgrade Pope, because we're gonna need Lantern at... Uh, well, I think we're gonna need Lantern at Chateau Raveline for sure. Yeah, so let's upgrade Pope. Use the Thyatic Invocation. Okay, oh, we found Fermia Abbey. So, we don't need to go for any more level 6 places. Are there any level 8 places we need to find? Well, there's a couple we could find that would help us, so let's do the Forbidden Epics here. I mean, we can't go to these places anyways at this moment, so... Better to just... Uh, search the histories. Oh, Dreaming. Let's remember to keep Dreaming. Okay, so we read the Rose of Nuriel. Saint Trifon began his ascension by passing the horn door. He continued it by learning the invocation Thyatic, which Neural does not here record on account of its extreme holiness. And Neural explains grimly, to achieve the seven marks of the great birth, Saint Trifon consumed both those whose soul had left them and even those in whom the soul remained. Right, so that was another Megalesian incantation for us, which is very good. Now, uh, let's translate the Rose of Hypatia. Okay, Pope is now a disciple. Clifton's devotions have grown complex, his eyes have grown wide and shining, his voice has become even louder. Okay, and then we're gonna have to go find more people because we don't need Violet to be a disciple, so let's use the locksmith's secret for 
now. Can we find the Cape of Candles? I don't think we're ever gonna go there. Uh, let's do another Forbidden Epic here. Oh, Sickness, again. Ah, that doesn't really matter. We have quite a lot of uh, vitality. Well, actually, tons of vitality. We have five vitalities here right now. How much do, do we need to increase our skill? Four. Okay. We can basically... <laughs> One, two... We almost have that four here. Well, now we would actually have that four there. Seriously. One. Two, three, and what we get from working and from this would be the fourth one. Unfortunately, this one's gonna go away, but yeah, it clearly looks like that we can get our health to the highest level, so that's actually what we're gonna do next instead of... Then again, why? Is there... Oh, fascination, unfortunate. Is there any reason to do that? Not really. I mean, it's faster towards the end if we just do the combina combining of these things that will help us ascend faster okay so we translate the rose of hypatia let's then read it this is also a collect volume of collected cheeses of the sisterhood of not uh, this was recorded by hypatia and dedicated to saint nympha saint nympha is described as a not born but cultivated the sentience that became the saint hypatia indicates inhabited a sinner's corpse in order to enable, enable that sinner's redemption and then I think we're gonna end this episode here and continue from this point in the next one. I'm Cap, uh, this is being called the Simulator Order of the Bloody Cup. Goodbye world, thanks for watching, see you next time!